The challenge we're trying to address is how could we best use research, development and innovation to make Ireland a global leader in the energy and marine sectors. Within MARI, our researchers and laboratory facilities have helped uh, companies like G-Kinetic, Open Hydro, DP Energy to develop their tidal energy devices and to improve their company's capacity to, to harness future potentials in those areas. We're also working closely now with the offshore wind energy uh, industry to, to develop that sector in an Irish context. In addition, we've been helping companies like ESB and Gas Networks Ireland to develop their strategy for the future decarbonisation of the energy system in Ireland. Um, in terms of academic institutions, we currently have six involved in MARI. We're growing that to 12 uh, currently. And we're also very engaged in international collaborative research activity through um, technology collaboration programs in the International Energy Agency, working with the International Renewable Energy Agency, and also hosting future Earth coasts um, here within MARI. There are National Ocean Test Facility, it's the testing facility for, for small to medium scale devices. And in addition, MARI have a number of other world-class renewable energy infrastructures at numerous locations in Ireland. In Limerick, our researchers operate a centre for robotics and intelligent systems in UL. In Galway, there is the Structural Testing Laboratory in NUIG and the Mace Head Atmospheric Research Station. The challenge we are addressing here is the development of offshore renewable energy technologies that can operate and survive in some of the harshest environments in this planet. We're trying to determine the complex interactions between the environment, societal and economic drivers that shape our coastal marine systems. These are essential to our survival, but we don't fully understand them. And we must recognise as a society that we are having a significant impact on these key environments. Marine litter effects uh, directly harms uh, marine animals, impacts on the marine environment, um, also impacts on our economy because, for example, you can have navigational hazards or its unsightly nature could impact on coastal tourism. And it has a human health implication as micro litter and especially microplastics can enter the food chain. Developing vibrant coastal rural communities is a major government priority and the potential for sustainable offshore aquaculture in this country is enormous. Uh, we're hoping to try to harness the natural environment and the natural productivity of the oceans to provide a sustainable and socially acceptable uh, form of aquaculture that can provide economic growth uh, and be environmentally friendly. Marine spatial planning is a new way of managing human activities at sea and it involves the active participation of all relevant stakeholders from government, industry and civil society, those that are affected by any new plans. MARI has been instrumental in developing stakeholder engagement strategies including interdepartmental and sectoral meetings and multi-stakeholder workshops across the region. MARI is one of the main organisers of the Cork Science Festival which attracts over 12,000 people each November, many of whom would not typically engage with science. As well as participating in a number of other cultural festivals, MARI delivers workshops to hundreds of school students annually. By providing accessible information to all stakeholders through dissemination and engagement activities, we can help facilitate informed decision making. I really like working in this area. For example, the international aspect is really exciting and um, continued collaboration with the partners allows for more and deeper research. And I'm supported by a brilliant in-house team. It's a really interesting area to work in here because there's so much potential and we're so well placed to deliver on that potential for both the environment and the economy. I enjoy working in a research centre that is helping society face major challenges such as climate change, uh, the energy transition and the sustainability of our oceans. It's a fantastic area to work in because the coastal marine environment is different every day and we get to interact with some of the most interesting and exciting people and species on the planet. The impact of our work is, is very obvious in terms of technology moving into open sea test sites. We have, take for instance, the, the ocean energy technology which was tested here at very small scale and now a full scale prototype is being put out in, in Hawaii. I really enjoy the fact that we're making a difference. We're helping to develop Ireland's marine and energy resources in a sustainable way.